if you are buying from the auction, uh, be it Copart or IAA, do you really need to go and check these cars yourself? Can you actually do that? These are the questions I get sometimes on call, through the comments and all of that. Um, <laughs> is it possible for you to go check any of these cars yourself? And this is what we call inspection. Can you do the inspection on these cars yourself? So, I am going to be talking about this. At the same time, before I go into this, let me remind you that the 90-day window um, given by the federal government to regularize your custom duty if you have your car in Nigeria, you have not paid for your custom duty, the 90 days is still open and um, I will encourage you guys to go and pay for your car. If you have your car at the port, especially those that brought their cars in to the country through the land border, Shaki border, Idiroko border, Seme border, you know, all these Kotonu cars or Togo cars. It is important for you to go and regularize your custom duty, make your payment so that custom will not seize your vehicle when they get to see it on the road. And for those who have their vehicles at the port, go and clear your car. Don't allow the government to seize your vehicles. Let me go into this inspection of a thing. Do you really need to go to wherever the car is in America to do your inspection? The answer from me is no. And um, I'm saying this based on experience. There is a provision for this with Copart and IAA. I think it costs minimum of $100 if you want to send somebody to go do the inspection for you. You want me person go there, go help you check the car and give you a report. That is available on Copart and IAA. You know, they want to make money now, then go charge you. Then go, you go see broker where you go talk to, say you want to make it help you inspect the car, you go charge you $100, you go go inspect the car. And that is if the broker is within that state. If the broker's office is in New York, of course, it can go to that particular city where the vehicle is to do the inspection for you. But if the broker's office is not in New York, it is going to be difficult for him to travel to help you confirm the situation of the vehicle that you want him to inspect for you. You know, New York to Chicago alone, by flights, I think you should guess how much it could be. So, it is impossible. Now, if they collect your $100, they will, you know, find a way to go about the inspection. That I cannot talk about. From me to you, there's no need to send anybody. There's no need to spend any money. What are the ways we use in checking these cars? Copart is going to provide you with a minimum of 10 pictures, maximum of 12 at times. These pictures are enough for you to inspect these vehicles. What do you need after these pictures? Your experience is what you need to inspect these vehicles online. Now, what else do you need? You need training. You need to know things to look out for. You need to know what and what to look out for on each cars. Either you're looking for Lexus, either you're looking for Toyota, either you're looking for Mercedes-Benz. There are things you need to look into through the pictures and the vehicle details. It is always on every cars on Copart and IAA. They write it there. When you see the pictures, your eyes cannot deceive you. So apart from what they write, because whoever is inputting those informations on the system is equally human. It could make mistake, or he or she could make mistake. So when you see the picture yourself and you do the analysis of the pictures to yourself, based on your experience, based on your knowledge. Perhaps 
what you have learned from a training you have received so you can actually do your inspection on your own with IAA there is usually a video showing you the engine that is working and all of that so you can actually play the video listen to the engine work and that is for IAA Copa does not have this provision so for Copa there's no provision for all of that you cannot um, see a video of a working engine so these are ways to do your inspection on any of these cars if you want to go to the auction but what are those information on the auction site that you need to look after the vehicle details you know which states everything about the vehicles talk about the VIN number talk about the kind of accident tells you if it's run and drive tells you if it's automatic tells you if it's diesel if it's manual gear and tells you if it's petrol engine and all of that and all of that so that's you need to look into now the title code and this is um the document on top of the vehicle they call it title in america there are some titles that cannot come to nigeria so you need to know this and make sure you avoid it there are some titles that are pending that will take you another one month for you to get them when you see this you need to avoid this car so these are the things you want to pay hundred dollars for another person to help you inspect so with um a reasonable knowledge or normal training all of this you will know for yourself so you will not need to waste any money for those asking this question this is my answer and i believe i've been able to answer you correctly if you think there's any other question in respect of this inspection of a thing do not hesitate to send me a dm and let's keep the conversation going within the comment section somebody was asking me the other day and he said what conversation are we you know keeping going within the comment section is the conversation going to change anything and blah blah blah, blah. and i said you just you just made a comment and that's part of the conversation you just asked a valid question you know if the conversation is going to change anything you know so don't get angry over nothing drop your comments and let's talk about it guys please don't forget to follow me across all channels facebook instagram and tiktok at the same time don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel then let's keep the conversation going we need the conversation thank you and god bless